everyone, welcome back to my channel and to another Plan With Me video. This week I'm using a kit from The Plump Planner and it's a really pretty kit. I really love the colours and I love all of the artwork. I decided to pull in some washi as this isn't a full kit that comes with bottom washi and I've been dying to get to use this really thick washi here which I bought from Blossom by Store which is on Etsy and I just need an excuse to use it. And then the last piece of washi that I pulled in is this thinner washi which is like a bronzy gold marble. So I'm starting with this super thick one and I'm putting it all the way down the side in my sidebar. I've never done this before in my planner and it would have gone absolutely fine if that part wasn't stuck on top which then made it go down. It, it's a bit of a mess but you know it sorts itself out in the end. <laughs> After I'd struggled with it and managed to get it down I just chopped off the excess. So I already put the date dots on the dates already so I just had to stick them down which was nice and easy. I'm sorry if you can hear any wind in the background it's super windy here in the UK today. I think we've got a storm coming I've heard but I'm sorry if it like rattles on the post flap or something that's what it is. So I was originally going to be putting the thinner marble washi along the top just to cover up the days of the week but I decided to bring in these bow headers from Stickers for Keepers. I really love these, I think they are absolutely adorable so I'm definitely going to be purchasing some more and I just thought it looked really sweet because the little bows kind of dangle down and I really like it. And then I accidentally ripped one and I done the kind of slow motion no shouts that you see in films where they're shouting no for like 10 days. That's exactly what I done there. So now I definitely have to get some more because I've used them all up. So now that's all done, we're going to go in day by day. And to start off, I just used some of the washi strips that comes with the kit as I was at work on Monday. So I put a half box that I just flipped up onto its side and then a little one of the floral poppets and I wrote down work. I actually didn't like how it kind of turned out because I had to squish it. I made my W too big. So I just took a quarter box that was the same pattern and stuck it over and rewrote. Underneath that I put down a full box and then I also put down two page flags to mark down that my son had his French test and he also had a German test as well on the same day. I marked it down on my planner to remind myself to wish him good luck before he goes. Underneath that I put a quarter box down to remind myself that I need to edit this plan with me and then when my children come home from school and college they will have some homework to do and I can just list down anything that they've got to do here on a checklist. So moving on to Tuesday, I started with a big face poppet from the feeling sheet as I need to do my voiceover. I also put down a half box as I want to film a planner DIY video. I put down a piece of the marble washi and a get it done little checklist which is like the size of a half box and I just wrote down English and maths because I know that my son has got those types of homework to do and we also need to nip to the library as well when they're home so I just put that down and then marked both of those with one of my poppet bags. I then put my full box down and at the bottom I used one of the poppets from the couples sheet as me and my partner are going to be binge watching the rest of Umbrella. We keep kind of starting to watch it and then we'll go a couple of days and then finish watching an episode and it's getting a bit confusing so we're going to binge watch it on Tuesday night and then I'm just hopping back onto Monday and I'm just taking out the full box and swapping it for this one which is on the half box sheet and it's actually a little bit smaller than a usual full box so I just covered up the black line with a piece of washi and then popped that there and I just felt it was like a little bit too crowded which is why I swapped the, the full box out for a different one because then it just kind of opened it up a little bit and before I lost that full box and had it randomly stick on my arm I decided just to use it on Wednesday at the top so I didn't damage it and I could still use it and it worked out pretty well because I'm going to be working on some custom orders that I've got so that's perfect because it just blocks off the time on Wednesday morning. 
I then took the washi just to cover up the black line and then I put a little happy mail pop it down as I need to pack and post some orders. I then used this large piece of deco as I want to do some housework and I obviously didn't want to use another full box on that day but I did want to block off some time and I'll also be listening to a podcast so I used one of the podcast pop it as well. So flipping it over to Thursday, the first thing that I want to do Thursday morning is pop some laundry in and then I use one of the floral poppets as I need to do some emails before I go out because I'm going out later on Thursday and I also need to check out some hotel information so I've just used one of the travel poppets on the suitcase and just wrote down to check hotels. And then like I said, I am going out on Thursday. So I'm going to be putting that down on a half box. I'm just putting some more of the marble washi down to cover up the black line. So I'm meeting up with the family again. It's actually going to be a camping meeting because every year in around August time, we kind of go camping as a big family. Um, I can't, I don't even know how many people there are now <laughs> that go, but there's about 15 to 17 tents so it takes a bit of pre-planning to get us all booked in onto the same campsite at the same time and making sure that all of our family is together and Friday is always my new release day if you're new to my channel then I have my own Etsy shop which are where all these poppet stickers are coming from and I have a new release every Friday so for this week it's some more washi strips and these are called moon and star and then underneath here, I'm just putting two strips of washi and then a quarter box that I've flipped up onto its side as I want to upload a video. I need to do a Facebook post, so I put one of the social poppets down and just wrote down Facebook post. And then on top of this full box, I'm going to be putting a quarter box as I want to do an Instagram post. And I just use another social poppet with the Instagram symbol to mark that. Moving on to the weekend, I put the weekend banner down and a full box. And then underneath the full box, I put one of the large deco stickers, it's a PC. So I use that to mark that I want to edit the planner tips video that I filmed. I then put down a quarter box and on top of the quarter box, I'm gonna use one of the foiled printer stickers, which is from Legally Planning. And that's just to mark that I'm going to be doing a restock in my shop, well, not the whole entire shop because that would take me longer than a day. But I'm just restocking a few things in my shop and I want to make sure that I'm doing that most of the afternoon. And then moving up to Sunday, I decided to pick up one of these um, foiled bows from Lucinda Charlotte Designs, basically just because they're pretty. I have no other reason to put a bow up there other than I saw them when I was looking for something and I thought, wow, they're pretty, I'm putting that in my planner. For actually Sunday, uh, I want to film next week's plan with me. So I used the large planner deco sticker and then I would need to do a food shop. So I used one of my food poppets on a half box. I then got the lunches to get ready. So I just used one of the poppet lunchtime stickers and then obviously I need to get uniforms ready, blah, 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 blah. I feel like I repeat myself every week when it comes to Sunday. So moving over to the sidebar, I'm putting a full box at the top and then there wasn't any habit trackers and I I didn't have any long checklists to create my own habit tracker like I have done before so I took a half box I also took one of these appointment stickers and then covered up the word appointment with a deco sticker and then kind of stuck all them together and then moved that to my sidebar and labeled it Instagram and then just labeled the days of the week it seemed like a really complicated way to get myself a habit tracker but I couldn't think of another way to do it and then put my last full box down I also put another one of these um get it done half boxes and then I just covered up the words get it done with a next week sticker which is from the Ginger Cat Co. So that was it for this week's spread. I hope you guys have liked it. If you did then make sure you give me a thumbs up. I'm now about to film my planner DIY so hopefully that comes out okay and I will be sharing that with you on Friday. Other than that I hope you're having a lovely week so far and I will speak to you next time. Bye guys!